Hail the Sun is one of the most bizarre games ever created. Look at the character selection screen. Super ugly cavemen walk in place with two Japanese angel chicks while the weirdest music plays. It's like watching a nightmare. At first the game seems pretty neat. Rocking soundtrack, unique art style, and surrealistic sky give it an awe-inspiring atmosphere. However, all that fades away within 10 minutes, reality kicks in and the truth is revealed. This game is pieces of asses. And it needs to be buried at the bottom of Mount Everest. The graphics are fungus puke rotting around the circumference of a zebra's dickhole. It's so empty, so bland and boring. And the game is so huge, you're always lost, wandering around aimlessly, having no clue what to do next, and no matter what direction you move, you just keep going and going and going. It never ends. The credits need to be at the end of the game, not on the menu. And look how short it is! No wonder this game slurps right now crap. The sound effects are primitive, and could the jumping be any more cliche? <laughs> the horrendous camera only views north, so if you're moving south, you can't see ahead. The perspective is illogical. Hills and mountains just collapse into themselves like jello as you move away from them. What the damn? Why is there a wall of water on this mountain? Can I go around it? What? It goes on forever! It's a nightmarish illusion! Well, it's not really a wall of water, it's just the horrible downward camera angle of the ocean, which only a certain portion is rendered at a time. What a piece of shit. Cave Boy walks slower than a slug and the joysticks do nothing, you have to use the D-pad to move. Thankfully you have the option to run, but because he walks so fucking slow, running shouldn't be an option, it should be default. But look how he runs, he runs like he has to take a diarrhea, or like he's scared shitless because he sees the entire universe spiraling out of control in the sky. The swiftness tattoo makes you run faster, but he jumps even faster, so no matter what, you might as well keep bouncing. If you jump off certain hills at just the right speed and angle, you'll practically touch the clouds. It's ridiculous. Sometimes it keeps skipping across the bumpy ground, which really gets irritating. Controls are so awful. No, it's the end of the universe. Jack Rabbit ass. You had to ruin the fun. Who falls asleep while running anyway? Honestly, even worse, he sleeps for like 10 hours every two seconds, and he'll literally fall asleep and implant his face into the ground whenever he wants. It's the biggest waste of time. If you keep waking him up, he'll die because he needs to sleep to recover energy. So you might as well just wait. I'm just surprised you fell asleep before I do. So where's your energy bar? You don't have one, you have to guess. I didn't know cavemen had enormous shadows, casually walked underwater, threw trees, ate Japanese sugar cookies, littered all over the ground, and ran straight up mountains. Damn, cavemen were badass going around slapping mammoths and mountain hippos to death. Nobody fucked with cavemen. So here's Caveboy now, just spanking the monkey. Look how he spanks. Who does he think he is, Buzz Lightyear? Oh, you stupid, idiotic, moronic, imbecile. What's the mammoth doing to me? Trying to make a mammoth? <laughs> that was bad, I apologize. You have to be at just the right angle to pick items up. It's a mess, and you'll just end up mashing the buttons. Then they just float above his head like he's supposed to be holding them up with his arms. Even dumber, there's a picture of him like this in the manual. There's no excuse. Every time you die, a soul bird comes and takes your soul away. How many drugs were they on when they made this game? 